egotistic praise. An excellent shot, even with the prevailing winds. I couldn't have done it better myself. Field assessment. I picked up on the heat forms of the Jedi and her allies. Activate the mines and prime the self-destruct sequences. Time to even the odds. Everyone down! Everyone down!
Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current. Deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah, and there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Adam. If she is a Jedi, she will forgive. And if she is not, she will not care. You can't tell her. Please. I'm asking you. I don't want her to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this woman we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve her until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches.
I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Your concern is noted. Your friends have not been harmed. They have been detained for their safety. I find it unusual that you are traveling with others again. I had thought you had forsaken the company of others after the war. Or is that why you are here? Yet here you are. Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? You sought adventure. You hungered for battle. You could not wait to follow Revan to war. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone. I had kept, so I would never forget. Indeed, a lightsaber is the mark of a Jedi. When you turned your back on the Order, it was not yours anymore. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it, so I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. Become a Jedi again? That is a thing far out of reach. But I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. Life is filled with choices. And when you are forced to make one, you have the Jedi teachings to guide you. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression, by serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for war and it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way, and you turned on us. Of course I was. But the Jedi teachings require we examine how we may best help them. Action without reflection is not our way. There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim. In fact, quite the opposite. A physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in... Do not twist my words. A physical victory is not the only victory, or the only loss. You do not know... How dare you? The Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave, and Malachor V is where you should have died. You see shadows where there are none, and hate where there is none. You are blind, as always. I tire of fighting with you. You lust for war, and you always will, and you have succeeded in distracting me from my questions. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the Council was correct, then why are you here? Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. So, at last you admit it. At least you have that much courage left. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? 
No, your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. I said I was the last of the Jedi, Exile, and I did not speak falsely. There are others who were once Jedi, but no longer. They will not take action against this threat. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go, just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove her mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile reminded me of something. I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I have never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself, but not now. She will never make me doubt myself again. But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Thank you.